Hi everyone, this is my video on my baby gargoyle gecko's enclosure. I said I would do a video on this in my last video on her. So as you can see it's a small critter keeper and it has paper towel as the substrate as you can see there. I also have a vine that goes along to the bottom. I have the cork bark round which kind of split, don't know how but it did. And she likes to perch on that and stuff. And then I recently added in this um, kitchen roll cardboard piece. I can't think of the word for that right now. But she likes to perch on that too. And that's obviously something I found in my house. So I didn't have to spend any extra money on that. And as you can see on the bottom, I also have her little um, water bottle lid which I use as her dish for her Apaches or her any crested gecko diet. And here is the probe for her thermometer. And yes, the digital one and the digital one's right here. And I moved the critter keeper because the lighting was really bad where I actually keep it. So that's why it's on my bed right now. Let's see if I can find Zoli though. Oh, there she is. My camera will focus. Yep, there's Zoli. Just chilling in her vine. I'm really excited to see how her orange blotches turn out as she grows. She's a really sweet gecko. Very chilled, actually, for a hatchling. She's about four months old now. But yep, this is her enclosure. She likes to hide in the vines during the during the day, and also she likes to perch on her cork bark round. I noticed that when she's perched on her cork bark round right here, she likes she tends to be fired up, and I think the reason that is is because she pretty much camouflages whenever she's on the cork bark round and when she's fired up, and that might be something that makes her feel more secure that she's like sort of camouflaged into it. I don't know, that might be it's probably one of the factors of why they um the, the rachidaxus geckos fire up but yeah it's kind of cool she's shifted a bit now she's right here oh she's looking she's a super super sweet gecko really cool she's about 5.5 grams now she's gone up about a gram or so in weight since i've had her the past three weeks she loves bugs I feed her mealworms twice a week, so she gets about six mealworms a week, and she loves them. I was surprised, though, because my Rachidactylus ciliatus gecko, which is my crested gecko, she completely refused any bugs, mealworms, anything, um, when she was about the same size as Zoli here. And then all of a sudden, one day, she randomly started eating them. So I was kind of surprised that... Zoli at such a small size and a young age would start to eat bugs already, but she likes them She's just wandering about now She's coming up. Oh trying to find her. Here she is There she is Such a cutie She's fired up right now in case you couldn't tell She's very friendly, or she has no fear of humans whatsoever. She does squeak sometimes though, which is common for the babies. Zig, my crested gecko, did that when he was her size too. There she is. Pretty baby. Yep. So this is her enclosure. Obviously she doesn't really need anything bigger right now since she's so little and she pretty much has everything she needs in here. Things to hide in, things to perch on, to climb on, stuff like that. So here she is, and that's her enclosure. I will be doing an, an update on some of my other geckos and their enclosures. Zig, my crested gecko, he does, his um, cage has, his enclosure has changed a little. So, 
I will be showing that in a video sometime soon. She's coming to the to the front of the cage now. Hello, baby girl. Sorry about the um, watermarks on the the front of the and um, the sides of the cage. That's from when I missed. I have to clean that. I didn't know she was going to come up and be so friendly today. Oh. Her tail, her tail is regenerating really nicely. It has grown a, a lot since I've had her. Don't know if you can really see. But yeah, it has really grown a lot since I've had her the past three or four, three or four weeks. Probably has something to do with her being so young. But she eats really, really well. She lets me hand feed her the Crested Gecko diet. She'll take mealworms from me very readily. And she's not too jumpy, actually. But yeah, if you don't have any gargoyle geckos, um, I would definitely recommend them. They're just really cool geckos. They're like, they're what I call hand huggers. Because I've noticed with my um, gargoyle geckos, and my crested hasn't done this, or my, um, or any other gecko that I've had, they haven't done this. Only my gargoyles do this. And that's that they like to wrap their hands and legs, um, hands and feet around your hand or your fingers and stuff like that. And they'll literally hug and hold on tightly to your finger or, or the side of your hand or something. And they'll just like chill there, holding tightly, which I think is kind of cute. But both of them, both Zag and Zoli do that. So I don't know if it's just a gargoyle thing. But either way, it's pretty cute. But yep, here she is. I didn't mean to make this video as long as it has been, but she's just been so cute and friendly, and she doesn't seem to be scared of the camera at all, so I couldn't help but keep showing her. Anyway, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for some more videos. Please comment, like, and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. I'm kind of lacking subscribers and views and stuff so it really i'd really appreciate it if you would do those things for me thanks bye